yeah good morning students in this video i will be discussing on the analysis of ftp protocol using wireshark tool so for analysis purpose i have taken one of the existing pcap file known as protocols and ports dot pcap png so the link for this pcap file is available in the description box you can download and you can work it out so before going for the analysis first let us see uh, what is file transfer protocol and what is its functionality here you can see uh, i have written some uh, notes on ftp so the port number for ftp is 21 so if you want to get all the ftp packets in the trace file that is pcap file Uh, you can just type tcp dot port double equal to twenty one. Then easily you can get all the packets related to FTP. So since uh, FTP is a TCP oriented protocol, so I have used the tcp dot port double equal to twenty one. You can just type here if you want tcp dot port double equal to twenty one. Then if you click enter, then you can see all the uh, <coughs> FTP packets. Here you can see FTP. Request and response, but if you type TCP dot port double equal to twenty one, you will get even uh, the application level uh, connection establishment using TCP three way handshaking. Here you can see at packet number two seventy, first a TCP request have been sent for connection establishment using the SYN flag. You can see here. Then from source to destination, then destination to source, there is an SYN act, SYN comma act, and lastly. at uh, packet number 272 you can see the acknowledgement has been sent from the source to destination so this is what uh, the three way handshaking or the connection establishment establishment that is happened before the file transfer protocol is started so that's what the three signals or flags we can say syn synac and ack once it is done immediately you can see the ftp protocol started at packet number 273 and it has Sent a response with the 220. All this we will see shortly. So if you don't want this TCP connection establishment, then instead of typing TCP dot port, just you can type FTP. Then you can see only those FTP packets will be filtered. So here there is no TCP connections. But however, for proper analysis, I am even taking the TCP handshaking applications. Now you can see the complete TCP establishment data transmission. Using FTP protocol, then uh, data termination, all those things. Okay. So that is what the port number for TCP is twenty one. So FTP, that is file transfer protocol, is an application layer protocol that moves files between local and remote file systems. So whenever you want to send or transfer any file uh, from source to destination or client to server, then FTP protocol will help in that. So it runs on top of TCP. That's what I have shown. It is a TCP oriented protocol, and the port number can be used as 21. So to transfer a file, we need two TCP connections are used by FTP in parallel. One we call it as control connection. The other one is data connection. Okay. So these are the two connections, control and data connections. So what is control connection? For sending control information like user identifications, passwords. so commands to change the remote directory commands to retrieve and store files etc all those comes under the control connection means an authentication has to be done so ftp makes use of control connections okay so here you can see the control connections is initiated on port number 21 okay similarly data connections for sending the actual file so here these are all meant for just a request maybe uh, the server may ask the user identification then it may ask the password for the client and commands to respond so these are all related to control so once the authentication is happened successfully then data transmission will take place using the data connection session for sending the actual file ftp makes use of a data connection a data connection is initiated on port number 20 so this is very important port number 21 we are initiated with only control connection so port number 20 will help in data connection if you want you can check here see here 
you can see here port number 21 is meant for only connection that is syn synac and ac when it comes to real data transmission then port number 20 will be activated so here you can see tcp sorry i will just click one of the ftp packet here you can see what type of uh, packet there is it is using 21 uh, for sending the request and 20 for sending the original information so here you can check it clearly first it has established the sin packet number 270 271 synac and packet number 272 ac everywhere you can see 21 21 21 so the moment when it comes to FTP that is it is sending the response to 20 and then again TCP came with 21. So whenever it is taking the help of TCP for connection establishment it takes the port number 21 and whenever data is sending it takes the help of port number 20. So what is that FTP session? So whenever an FTP session is started between a client and a server the client initiates a control TCP connection as I already told you here they have n number of control commands so that i will show you shortly so whenever uh, the ftp wants to transfer any data so before that uh, a session has to be established so we need to transfer n number of uh, control connections over this when a server receives these requests then it initiates the data connection to the client after successful connection and very important is only one file can be sent over one data connection so these are all few ftp commands okay you can see if you want to uh, uh, send the new user information then UACR this command sends the user identification to the server so if you want to send any password to the server then PISS then CWT is used for uh, sending to know the current different directory or uh, data set for file storage and the RMD is used to name removed as a directory so if you want this command causes the directory specified in the path name to be removed so if you want to remove you can use RMD if you want to make any new directory then you can use mkd then if you want to write a command for current working directory you can use pwd that is present working directory and if you want to uh, initiate any data for a remote host then you can see rtr okay and similarly if you want to store any file in a remote directory you can use str and if you want to list all the present directories you can use list and if you want to <coughs> So this abor this command tells the server to abort the previous ftp server command and then initiate the new one and lastly if you want to quit then you can use quit command so these are all few uh, user commands to the server and based upon these uh, commands then the server will respond so these are all few ftp replaced by the server so you can see 200 is a command okay you can see here so once here So here there is a uh, here you can see response is 220 you can see here what is 220 here i have not written the 220 okay however i have just written few of the replace 200 means command okay 530 means not logged in 330 means username is okay then password is needed 225 means data connection is open no transfer in progress 221 service closing connection initiated and 551 requested action aborted paste type unknown 502 then command not implemented 503 bad some bad request so like that these are the few uh, what you call that uh, replace that are initiated from the server here you can see that for example once the uh, packet number 272 the connection is established then immediately at packet number 273 source client has given a response to 20 then immediately these are all tcp again connection establishment has done Again, you can see the request user anomalies means user password. So the response has come from the server. Please specify the password at pa packet number 279. Then immediately at packet number 281, you can see password is given. Then packet number 282, you can see the response S230 login successful. Then again, packet number 284, some data transmission is happening like that based upon the user request the response commands numbers will be initiated and accordingly the data transmission will take place here actually the data transmission is taking place okay so using some acknowledgement sql numbers windows says all those so lastly you can see the quit once everything is fine here you can see at packet number 335 
the complete data transmission is completed. So 336 packet number, the FTP has initiated the request quits. Then immediately 337 packets, the response is given 221. Okay, good boy. Then again, a new connection is started establishing from packet number 338 using again acknowledgement. Oh, sorry, connection termination is happening. You can see at packet number 339, fin signal is set. Finac, and then lastly at 341, the acknowledgement for the connection closure is initiated. So the complete data transmission is done from packet number 272 341. So that completes one for complete cycle. Okay. So if you want to know uh, the data stream, then right click you can do, and here you can see uh, follow TCP stream. Here you can see the complete flow of data what I told from 220 initial stage to ending fit. Good boy. So for every packet here, the response is available. The user is asking the password, is password successful. So all those uh, data can be analyzed. Okay. So this is how these are all few the uh, replace from the server. And here are few characteristics of FTP. FTP uses uh, a TCP oriented connection. That's what the SYN, SYNAC and ACK signals. Uh, it is good for simple file transfers such as the uh, during boot time all those FTP is useful. Errors in the transmission must be handled by the TFTP server. STFTP is nothing but a trivial file transfer uh, protocol. So I will just filter if you want TFTP here. That is TFTP and it is connectionless. TFTP. Yeah, here you can see few TFTP protocols that are happening. Just there is no connection established here. There, immediately the request will come, then the data transmission will take place. Okay. So it uses only one connection through well known port number 69. So you can use udp.port double equal to 69 to get all the TFTP protocols or packets. TFTP uses a simple log strip protocol. Yes, that is very important. And there the throughput is also limited. And here are few advantages of FTP. Speed is one of the advantages of FTP. File sharing is very simple and the efficiency is more when compared to FTP, all this. So these are all few comments. So these are all few uh, filters as I told you. For example, if I want to request all the uh, packets where the user has uh, requested USCR, then I will just show you. Sorry. Yeah, here you can see. Uh, I will just go for FTP itself and then I will go to one of the packet FTP. So this is what FTP protocol. If I want to know uh, all the uh, response code with the 220, just you can right click here, apply as filter and then select it. You can see FTP dot response code is 220. We have two responses. Similarly, as I told one more command like user command, then I will just find where is the USCR. You can even search using the uh, frame name USCR. So here you can see the user commands, anonymous. Just right click, apply as filter. And here it's not possible, one second. Here, uh, uh, request command is user. I just want to write uh, apply as filter selected. You can see here, ftp.requestcommand equal to user. So the packet number 277 is requesting the user anomalies. And here password. Okay, uh, and you can even combine both. So I will just request one more with password. So who are all the passwords they have given? And then here it is. Uh, so here you can see the response with password. And right click, apply as filter, selected. You can see ftp.request command is equal to password. Along with that, user also multiple command filters also you can apply as shown here. And similarly, you can check for admin. Uh, any response code like that as per your convenience you can check or apply the filters okay so that's what and this is the only simple what I call that uh, uh, structure of FTP if you see here only there will be a request and a response and in the next video I will tell you in depth about uh, the FTCP protocol so this is a TP overall structure so when it comes to uh, TCP and UDP analysis. I will explain more about the TCP protocol. So, hope you so enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos. So, however, I have given the complete uh, link uh, to download this PK file in the description box. 
you can utilize that uh, pkf file and then uh, you can practice on your own okay thanks for watching and subscribe my youtube channel bye